Pistol shooting in Israel is based off a very different doctrine. We're gonna go into how that came about. I'll teach you the exact method and let you decide what you think. There's a lot of debate between carrying conditions on your weapon. Carrying one in the chamber, condition one, is oftentimes the most popular way of carrying your weapon for self-defense and most units in the world uh, as well as law enforcement carry condition one. Another popular carry technique is condition three, where a magazine has been loaded into the weapon, but the round hasn't been chambered. Here in Israel, that debate is present and it's a very important one. It's important to understand what comes behind, what drives the decision of a unit having condition one or condition three. Even in Israel, there are units that carry a round in the chamber and units that don't. We can't get into details about which units do what, but it's important to understand that there's a reason behind every decision. While this is not my personal choice or what I teach military and law enforcement units around the world, we need to understand that Israel's military operates under its own very peculiar conditions, almost in a constant and never-ending state of emergency. Israeli military conscripts drafted at a very young age and for a relatively short amount of time compared to other forces around the world. Military leaders in Israel need to develop a curriculum that will get these soldiers to the safest and most proficient level of combat in the shortest amount of time. Personally, I prefer condition one and I prefer teaching my students to carry one in the chamber. That decision is based on having trained both techniques as well as having served in different units where I used both methods. But I will refer now to the correct and authentic way of performing the Israeli carry technique. The Israeli method of shooting is based on the Soselis stance and it looks something like this. My feet are opening slightly, shoulder width apart. Whenever you see someone shooting like this, this is a perversion of the technique. This is something I went through the years and it became more and more exaggerated. All you need to do is get on a comfortable stance that is natural for danger. I hear an explosion, I feel something's coming to hit me, I get into a stance that is basically natural against a force that is coming towards me. From there, I reach my weapon by gripping it hard as much as possible. My hand is located usually above the waist. When the weapon comes out, it gets presented in front of my field of vision and I grip, okay? I grip the slide with my thumb and my finger. From here, what I'm doing is I'm basically pointing towards my target and racking the slide at the same time. The second hand comes and joins my hand that is gripping the pistol afterwards. And then I can just engage into the shooting. I said shoulder width apart, reach for the weapon, go and shoot. Khan, had, time, shalosh. Yafe, arba, hazo. Tomod, pano sefet, had, time, shalosh, arba, hazo. Due to the IDF's high operational pace, Israeli carry technique really comes as a reaction to a lack of resources in training time. And like any other decision in the military, there is a give and take. Even though condition one has very clear advantages, the IDF managed to develop a technique that while prioritizing safety, still reaches an efficient level of proficiency with a secondary weapon. Take into consideration both advantages and disadvantages and let us know what you think in the comments.